So we've finished building our dashboard by adding queries and other objects, and we've also taken a look now at the different interaction, export, and slide options that we have available. Now we want to publish our dashboard. To do so, I'm going to click on this button here, and we'll look at some of the different ways we can share this dashboard. The easiest way would just be to type the email address of the person you wish to share it with in this box here and press return. You have the option to notify these named users via email, which will invite them to set their own password. Otherwise, we have these advanced options, named user groups, public or password. These last two are disabled because interactivity options are used in the dashboard. But if we were to take those out, we could have a public dashboard or a dashboard protected by a simple password. In this case, we're going to use named user groups and select which groups will have access to this particular dashboard. In this case, I'm going to select the group My Dashboard. From here, I can also manage my groups of named viewers by adding new groups and new users. There are different authentication methods available as well, such as single sign-on via Google Apps, Google, Salesforce, and LinkedIn. Here, I'm going to choose Google Apps and Salesforce. When I click on OK, we'll be presented with the URL for this dashboard, which we can in turn edit, like so. We'll also have the HTML embed code for iframes. There are more options available, such as setting a reload of the dashboard automatically every so many number of minutes, ask the user to authenticate again after a certain number of minutes. We can also define a particular logo for this dashboard. So we can open the dashboard from this button here and be taken to the login page. Here I'm going to connect using my Salesforce single sign-on. From here I will gain access to my published dashboard. And there you go. The last thing we're going to look at is dashboard security. This is how we can offer filtered views of a published dashboard by securing the values of an attribute or attributes. For example, customer state. By opening up the organized data structure tab and selecting this attribute, I can add security to it. Firstly, I'm going to secure I'll be presented with a drop-down list of the different named viewer groups in my account. And from here, I can select which values I wish to filter for that particular group. So when they log into the dashboard, they will only see data for, in this case, these three customer states.